We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome back to the Freak Show, where our one rule is tactical games are the best. And it's true. I am your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. I'm playing, I guess, Fire Emblem or Fire Emblem and the Blade of Light or the Blazing Blade. Blazing Blade, that's it. Uh, it just says Fire Emblem. If, if we if we took a look at the uh, thing, it would just be Fire Emblem. Anyway, that's what we're playing. Uh, episode 2 is what we're kicking off here. And uh, we're still amidst the tutorial, learning how to play, which, I mean, we... It, this is all very, very basic, but it's still good to, to know and run through. All right, I don't know that we have any necessarily like current instructions as to what to do now. All right, so let's start with this. We're going to take you out with uh, Captain... Well, just in case. No, I am going to do this. I feel confident that we, we've got him. 890, yeah, this is, this is fine. Splatchity. All right, down you go, sir. Now, at some point, I don't know if there's an option for this. Let's take a look. Um, I might turn um, animations off. What does that mean? Oh, uh, I might turn animations off. That way, we just see the combat happen on the overview map, which I'm totally okay with. That's generally how I play you know, myself, so... I will leave it like this for now, but there's a very real chance that I'll turn the animations off. Because, like, they're cool to see at the beginning, but it just adds extra time to stuff that you just don't really need it to. Again, for the people who like that, that's totally cool. I'm not, like, saying, oh, you guys are dumb. I just, for me, I'd rather it be a bit quicker. I, I like watching the little the little dudes going and doing... Oh, I didn't expect that. Well, that has changed everything for me, didn't it, there? All right, we're going to go Iron Sword it up. We're going to double eight him, which will put him away. Oh, did, did I accidentally... Well, there you go. You saw it. That's actually set off. I didn't mean to turn it off. Sorry. Show animation with backgrounds, without backgrounds? Okay. I don't know what with backgrounds means, but we'll, we'll see. All right, let's see if we bait him across the bridge. We did. All right, I'm just going to step here. Um, let's see what you got, buddy. He's got 11. And eh, not worth it. All right. Iron Sword. You got a 9. You're even less good, loser. It's fine. Okay, so that's with backgrounds. Let's uh, let's try it without. I'm, I'm, I'm curious to try all these various different things. Ah, I see. I see. That's fine. Either way is okay. I mean, I don't, I don't really see either one being superior, in my opinion. All right, girl. Get yourself to safety. We've got our allies uh, over here. He'll step to... Oh, he's not going... He's not guns to step to me. All right. Wait, can, can everybody reach? Oh, everybody can. Um, I'm going to let Kent lead the charge here. Iron Sword. That's an 8. Verse 8. Accursed knights, always tampering in others' affairs. Uh, yep, no, that's totally it. I know we're going to do like crazy voices throughout the entirety of the thing, but I'm just going to have a little bit of fun, you know? Something new, something exciting. I like it. Uh, double sevens. Oh, that's going to put it just under. Oh, there's some risk to this. I don't know that I'm willing to do that. I think I'm going to wait here. I think this is going to be the play. Oh, 
He swung, he swang on him. Oh, he just crit him. All right. Blast. That was only supposed to be a lone girl. Uh, cool. Bye bye, Zugu. Level two, HP and speed. I like it. I mean, I would have preferred like much better stats than that, but we'll take it. That's the last of them. Fantastic work, Bumby. Thank you. And so. Ah. And now for these knights of Lycia. Lycia? 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 Lycia. Lycia. Uh, you were going to share your story with me. Yes. We have ventured from Caleb and Lycia in search of someone. Lycia. That's the country beyond the mountains in the southwest, isn't it? Correct. We've come as messengers to the Lady Madeline, who eloped with a nomad some 19 years ago. Madeline? Our lord, the, Mar the Marquess of Kalen's what? The Marquess of Kalen's only daughter. Okay. He was heartbroken. His own daughter would abandon him so. Eventually, the Marquis or Marquess simply declared that he had no daughter. And this year... No. And this year... I, f I already forgot what voice I did for him. And this year, we received a letter from Lady Madeline. Uh, it said that she, her husband, and their daughter were living happy happily on the Sake Plains. Marquess was ecstatic to learn he had a granddaughter of 18 years. I remember the smile on his face when he announced that he'd suddenly become a grandfather. The granddaughter's name is Lindis. Oh. This was also the name of the Mar Marquess's wife who passed away at an early age. Lindis. That she should bear this name thawed the Marquess's heart. Now, his only wish is to meet his daughter's family at least once. This is why we're here. We didn't know that Lady Madeline died a few days after. Sending her letter. We only learned this shortly after we arrived here in Bulgar. We also learned all was not lost. Her daughter yet lives. We heard that she was living alone on the plains. I... I knew it immediately. You are the Lady Lindis. Why would you think that? Your resemblance to your departed mother is remarkable. What? Did you know my mother? I'm sorry to say I never met her directly, but I saw her portraits in Castle Caelan. For the rest of my tribe, I was always Lynn. Uh, when I was with my parents... It was just the three of us. I was Lindis. It's also strange. I was all alone in the world, and now I, I have a grandfather. Lindis. I never thought I would hear that name again. Wait. That bandit, he called me Lindis too. What? How could he have... He was a henchman of Lord Lundgren, wasn't he? Lundgren? Who's that? He's the Marquess's younger brother. Brother? Everyone assumed that the Lady Madeline was gone forever. I really did not mix this well. Ugh. This made Lord Lundgren heir to the Marquess's title. Sorry. It's uh, Mountain Dew Zero, and they just do not have the mix right at all. It's, it's quite bad. To be blunt, my lady, your existence is an obstacle to your grand uncle's ambition. That's... but I have no interest in inheriting any title. Unfortunately, your grand uncle is not the sort of man to believe that. I believe the attempts on your life will persist. Well, what should I do? Accompany us to Kalen. Continuing on this way is dangerous. I feel I have little choice. I, I will go with you. Bumpy, I am sorry. 
This changes everything. What will you do, Bumpy? You want me to decide? Of course. Your companionship would do much to ease my journey, but it's going to be so dangerous. Ah, danger, Schmanger. You'll come? Are you sure? Thank you. Let me ask once again for your friendship and your aid. Sure. Yeah, no problem, Lynn. I got you. Yeah. Chapter 2. A small altar lies on the outskirts of Bulgar. This ancient temple, sacred to the people of Sake, has long been known for its powerful bond to the world of spirits. Before starting their journey, our travelers come here to pray for their well-being. At this altar, Lin's hand is directed to a grand inheritance. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, sure. I mean, I'm here for it. Chapter 2, Sword of Spirits. Bumpy, hold a moment and allow me a short detour. There is a sacred sword enshrined in an altar east of here. The people of Sake go there to pray for safety at the onset of a long journey. Oh, how quaint. The teachings of Elamine have the most followers in Elibi. Or Elibi. Elimini? Elibi? I, uh, I don't know. It's fine. It is nice to see that here, at least, the ancient customs are still observed. Oh, look. How observed are they? Old man, stay where you are and hold your tongue. Threaten me as you will, but I will not give up the Mani Kati. Or the Mani Petty, for that matter, is a sacred blade under divine protection. It cannot be removed from its place of, the re of rest. You're a fool, old man. What good's a sword if you don't use it? Use it? In combat? Sacrilege! Sacrilege? I'm a... What? I am glass. The gods fear my name. My sword play is peerless. And if I want this sword, I'm like totally gonna get it. Me and, me and the other valley girls, we're like gonna totally go to the mall and buy replicas and then come here and swap them with your sword and you won't even know. Sorry, um... And if I want this sword, then this sword I shall have. I like my version better, but it's cool. Now, get out of my way. Oof. Ah, I have the sword of, of swords. This is it. It's more magnificent than I'd imagined. The sword was made for a swordsman of my skill. Hmm. What's this? I can't... Draw the sword from its scabbard? The spirits of the blade have judged you. You have been found wanting. I have rejected you. What? Listen, you senile old fool. If you value your own life, you'll get out of my sight. Okay. Huh. Curses, miserable spirits. I care nothing for you. I'll tear this altar down, stone by stone, if I have to. Meanwhile... Uh, I beg your pardon, my lady. Uh, are you headed east to the altar? Y yes, we we are indeed. Then you must hurry and help the priest there. I saw a band of local ruffian Local? Sure. Local ruffians head there not too long ago. Why would they be local? Like, that doesn't make sense. Because then... Be Never mind. They, they seemed intent on stealing the altar's sacred sword. Manny Cotty? They're going to steal it. Cannot allow this to happen. You look like a virtuous group. Please help him. Lindus, what are you planning? If you hope to go to the priest's aid, then you'll need to prepare. You're right. Say, Bumpy, there are some homes to the south of us. Perhaps we should go there and question the residents. I feel like the immediate threat is probably... You know what? It's fine. 
The three buildings to the south are homes. You can speak with the people who live there. They sometimes give you combat hints or useful information about the land and the people. It pays to listen. Also, they sometimes give you items. Shall I take the lead? All right. Tell me, what would you like me to do, Bumpy? Well, when do you put it like that? All right, so we have some forts. We got three houses. That's the name of the game. Oh, I'm going to visit the home, right? Just point me in the right direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm, I'm doing it. Calm down. Say, aren't you the... Oh, you're, you're going to help the priest. Well, perhaps you could benefit from something I saw earlier. The bandits may have the main entrance guarded. However, one of the altar's walls is cracked and in poor repair. You might be able to create another entrance by hitting that section with your weapons. We're all counting on you. Oh, cool. Just break the, uh, okay, yep. Next, send Sane to visit another home. Start by selecting Sane. Oh, yeah. I'm next, I'll go visit this house. Sup. Mountains make it more difficult to be hit. But they're difficult to traverse. If you're riding on horseback, you can't cross them at all. Be careful. Okay. Remember, your mounted units possess the ability to move again. After moving, cavalry can move the rest of their movement range unless they've received an attack or staff commands. This also goes for units mounted on Pegasi and Wyverns. Now, give Sane his orders. I mean, it's not much of an order. Finally, let's get Kent visiting the last one. This visit isn't necessary for combat purposes. However, its residents may have useful knowledge. I recommend stopping by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know much about the sword held at the altar? It's called the Manikati, and blessed by the spirits. According to the priest, the Manikati is waiting for its rightful owner to appear. That's so odd, don't you think? The idea that a sword can choose who will wield it? Boy, I somehow feel like uh, it's going to be very serendipitous when that person is... Uz. Probably. Probably Uz. You should know something about fortresses. Fortresses offer more protection than woods do. Fighting from a space and a fortress is beneficial. Remember, this holds true for fend, fend, friend and foe alike. Keep this in mind before engaging your enemy. Fortresses also allow injured units to regain some hit points. Your units will automatically regain at the beginning of your turn. HP recover in one turn is fairly small. As long as you remain in a fortress, you'll get HP every turn. So a full recovery is possible. There are other places where you can recover HP, including castle gates, thrones, and areas where bosses are found. Sweet. All right, we got to try and keep him off of that tile, but I don't, I don't know. Okay, that works. Fool. Double fool. I thought we were going to go for triple fool there. I was like, what? Alright, this chapter's goal is to seize the throne. The leader of the enemy is on the throne now. Defeat him and Lin, and have Lin seize the throne to finish the battle. His name is Glass. He's a sword-bearing mercenary. Think of the weapon triangle. Yes, spear. What weapon is able to best a sword? Correct, the lance. I'm going to call it a spear. Uh, using the right weapon is like a shortcut to victory. To get into the altar, try using the method that you heard earlier. It's up to you. Good luck, Commander. I mean, it's, it's fine. I mean, I could do that, or I could choose not to do that. Alright, this might get Sane up to level 2? Not quite. Maha! Take that, wall! Alright, dodge, girl. Double smack! Uh. Double smack! Very nice. 
All right, Sane's situated for another attack. I like it. All right, Sword Smack. All right, that should probably level Sane up. Yeah, there it is. HP strength. Such bad levels. This wall barely know what happens to this, is it? Uh oh. Ow. How dare. Well. Good job, Kent. Come back here and heal up, buddy. Don't worry, I got this. Very nice. Alright, HP, strength, and speed. Not bad. I'm gonna use the lance on this wall. There it is. I. Oh. Uh oh. Eh? Alright, kind of healed up a bit. Oh, they can't go through at all. Oh, I see. I think Kent's got this. He does. This will level Kent up as well. Bam, good job, buddy. Get that sweet level up on. All right, strength, skill, speed, and HP. Take it. And Lynn is gonna come on down here and attempt to do some mountain climbing, I think. Himself. Send Kent into the uh, place. Move Sane up a little bit. Works for me. After Kent, big miss. And of course, the big double hit back. All right, taking you down, sir. Very nice. All right, we're going to get ourselves situated and ready to go here soon. I want Lynn closer. I want her to be able to swoop in and finish it if it has to come to that. All right, boyos, let's get it. Saying you're starting us off. We're using Iron Lance up against this boy, 75 against the 67, the 12 to the 3. Who do you think you are? What chance do you think you have against me? Well, I mean, pretty good, actually. You, you realize you got absolutely mollywalk, right? All right, so you got, what, 8, 8 HP left? What do you got for him? Six times two? I think that's worth it. Let's let's get it with Lin. Leave that sword alone. Ah. You. You. Deuce deuce. All 
All right. Strength, speed, luck, defense. Vulnerary. Oh, very nice. Oops, so I hit the wrong button. Sometimes you will find items when you do stuff. I was what they were telling me. Unit. Uh, interesting. What is affinity? Huh. Interesting. Cool. Alright, seize the throne, carry the day. Ah, your clothing. Are you of the, the Lorca tribe? I'm Lynn, the chieftain's daughter. You hurt, sir. Ah, thanks to you, I'm unscathed. You have my gratitude. And the sword? Is it safe? Yes, yes, I have sealed the sword safely away. Until I remove my spell, the sword cannot be drawn. Now, as a token of my gratitude, I shall allow you to lay hands upon the Manikati. Touch the blade's pattern, and pray for a safe journey. Oh, well, thank you so much. Oh, hmm? What did... <gasps> the sword. It's glowing. Ah, hmm... It's the power of the spirits. Lynn, they have looked into your soul and they call out to you. What does that mean? You are its rightful owner. You are to wield the Manicati. Nah, I don't think that's a good idea. Sorry, I can't. I mean, I couldn't. I mean, I might. It is the sword's wish. If you require proof, draw it from its sheath. It was a scabbard a minute ago. Now it's a sheath. Uh, it's fine. Um, sling came out effortlessly. I never dared to hope that I might meet the wielder, the Manicotti in my life. I am indeed fortunate to see your sword reach your hands. My sword. It is time for you to go, Lynn. You face a great many ordeals. Grip the sword and meet your destiny head on. Y yes. Y y yes, sir. And I could talk like this for a while longer, or I could switch to... Stay a while and listen. That's quite the treasure you have there in that Haradra cute. Sorry, um... So this is the Manicotti, uh, a blade with no equal. This is also unbelievable. Perhaps the most famous sword in all of Sake in my hand. It's not so strange. In fact, many legends tell similar tales. Special blades all over the land call out to their proper owners. And yet, when I saw you draw that blade, Lindis, I felt something extraordinary. The sword was waiting for you. You were meant to draw it. Stop it. I, I'm i nothing special. Think of it this way. Some weapons feel more comfortable in your hand, right? Well, the Manicotti itself feels very comfortable with you. Does this make it any easier for you to accept? It doesn't appear that either of us can use it. It does feel right in my hand. Hmm. A blade that only I can wield. Seems reasonable enough. I, I can understand that. Look at it, Bumpy. This is the Manicotti. This is my sword. Must care for it well. Yeah, you must. Alright, I think we're getting pretty close to the end of the um, tutorial, but I'm not sure. Castle Kalen. Spoopy times. What? Madeline's daughter? Still alive? Uh, yes, Lord Lundgren. The girl is traveling with uh, Kent and Sane. What are your orders? If we let them be, 
<laughs> Heard that northern burn is full of bandits. She's just a girl. She'll not survive her journey here. I'm more concerned with my older brother. His life must be ended quickly. The poison. There must be no blunders. Y yes, my lord. He suspects nothing and continues to drink it. The Marquesa's Marquises Marquess Mar Marquis Marquess Mar Mar Marcus Marcosis. The Marquess's death, due to no uh, due no doubt to sudden illness, is not far off. <laughs> Soon. Soon, Kaylin will be mine. Well, when you say it like that, I mean, certainly. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to save, but we're going to just kind of break it off here. It's going to say stuff, but we're going to ignore it when we come back to this in the very next episode. I really hope you guys are enjoying uh, this blast from the past brought to you guys on you know, the Switch, modern system, uh, through the Nintendo Online Plus Expansion Pass thing. Um, I'm having a blast playing it. It's a lot of fun. Like I said, I'm really sad that I didn't know of and or play Fire Emblem games from back in the day. But again, a lot of them were uh, only released in Japan. So it's really cool to be able to play some of the ones that did come over and that they have done at least some work porting like the very first one, Shadow of the Dragon and the Blade of Light. They they like emulated and ported and, and uh, what's the word, translated that over. And then they did a limited time sale, which I'll never understand as long as I live. I think it's the dumbest thing I've ever heard of, but um, yeah, I got a chance to play and experience that, and it was great. Anyway, right, folks, till the very next episode, I've been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer.